Hi there, I'm Ben and welcome to my 100% guide for Leonard Chester from Assassin's Creed Valhalla. So Leicestershire, as I'm now calling it because it's much easier to say, is one of two starting areas when you get to England. You'll actually go into this area and do your first raid when you get to England and get your first wealth from there. So it's wealth, mystery and artifacts we're getting for the 100% here. Uh, before you actually get, go on the grand adventure of, get, of finding everything, uh, finish the storyline, the pledge line for Leicestershire. So if you're going to speak to Randvi in the main area, look at the table, finish the storyline off. Um, that's going to open up every location in the area So because some of them is a uh, lot behind doors. Um, so here we go. Once you've had to, got to this point and finished it, you've opened up the whole area and everything's accessible. Timestamps, as usual, in the description, by the way. Right. I mentioned before that you get one of the wealths during the story when you first get to England. Um, and this is this one, so we're going to do this one first. So as you get to England, you'll go and automatically do a raid during the story, uh, story mission settling down here. Uh, and you'll have to go in here and open this chest up. This is one you can't miss, so I've just put it in here for completion's sake. So there are 28 wealth, 16 mystery, and 13 artifact in Leicestershire. There's a lot to find, and this isn't even the biggest area with regards to numbers. And you can see how long this video is. So yeah, again, there are timestamps in the description, and you should see the little um, cut-up bits on the screen as well, the sort of chapters, so you can hover over them and it'll tell you what's coming up as well. Right, this is uh, another part of that raid, the same raid. Um, if you come back to this area without getting this one, because you don't need this one particularly for the story, um, but you can, can come and get this during the story raid. I didn't, so I'm coming back later on. Uh, if you go to this door and do force open, uh, and then you'll be prompted to start a raid, which is what you'll have to do. And you'll uh, blow on your trusty horn, and your um, Viking friends will come and help you out. So the, the, the reason for this is that you, you actually need help opening the chest, which you're going to see in a moment. So I'm not going to show you the fight, but get, clear this area out. And then you're going to need to uh, open this chest up. And it's a two-man job, or two-woman job in this instance. Uh, or man and a woman, I thought that was two women, never mind. <laughs> um, yeah, open it up, and this is uh, some more raw materials for uh, build, building up your camp. So this is the circuit we're going on now. We're going to go to the west, so across here, finish this little bit of land off, and then go across to the island in the west and uh, do sort of a circuit around. Again, there's a big place, uh, lots and lots to do and see, and it kind of scares me having to do all these videos, to be honest. Uh, so hopefully you, do, you are using them and they are coming in handy. This is going to be probably your first Animus Anomaly. Um, bit of a weird thing, the situation is sort of the uh, the modern world coming through to the uh, the old world here. Um, just a puzzle, put a bit of platforming, puzzle platforming, that's all it is to these really. I'm going to show you the whole thing uh, just in case anybody um, needs help sorting these out. But all you're doing is platforming across and uh, spinning these orbs around to uh, highlight the area. So it looks like it damaged you in initially, I thought it was going to, uh, but it doesn't. It, you, you're just uh, using that to make the gray areas blue so you can stand on them. And that's essentially the whole thing. But there are sort of puzzle and elements to it as well. So for these ones, you need to um, spin it round so you can get up to the other ones to make the other platforms so you progress. Fairly simple stuff, really. So move that one across there, and jump back down and move it across. You get the idea. None of the uh, collectibles in this one are missable as well. But you, like I said, you will need um, to advance the story to a certain point to get to some of them, which we will will be getting to shortly, uh, early on. So jump up here, and for this one... We want to aim this up high, and it's going to take over the work from the one on the left-hand side, because that one can reach the platforms in the middle. So I do like that the uh, the sort of the wealth, the mystery, and the artifacts in this game actually have more of a, a puzzle element to them. 
having to find them and uh, work things out. It doesn't uh, make them as boring as they could be. Although there is a lot, <laughs> a hell of a lot to do. Uh, so yeah, be saving often as well. If you're not, make lots of saves, manual saves, uh, especially before doing uh, mysteries and things like that. Uh, just to make sure you don't get any bugs happen because I've had some people on Discord um, one in particular say he's had problems with mysteries so yeah make a save and once it's complete and it's ticked off then you're fine uh, just in case anything happens all right for this one obviously you're taking over the work and then you're gonna move and then you've got to run all the way back and uh, move that one to the middle as well and then that's this one done so we've got a couple of actually quite long ones at the beginning here but then uh, things do speed up a bit once we get to the the middle a lot of the gold or the carbon ingots and things are quite easy to uh, to get to some of them are just kill a specific enemy Right, there we go, we're at the end. Interact with it, and you'll get taken back down. And uh, that'll be it. It'll get ticked off and you're all done. Just one of those in this area in Leicestershire, or Leicester. try and say it again. <laughs> Probably long, wrong, but close enough. There we go. First mystery done. Right, moving across. We're onto this part now, this side. So we're gonna completely do this island now. And this one is actually two. So we've got the mystery and the wealth. Um, basically the mystery leads you to where the wealth is. And you have to kill the enemy that drops the wealth. So I've just incorporated, incorporated them together here. So go speak to this guy. He's having uh, some issues. And uh, just follow him. And he's going to take you to this camp. And uh, yeah, all you have to do is kill everybody here one of the guys you're going to see in a moment will have the sort of glowing gold orb above his head and just see him off to the right there he just that shot but you'll see him in a second killing him there he is just he's run off to the back there he's shooting the uh, arrows across make sure you want once you kill him to uh to grab the wealth from his body There, done. Fast forward, because they do bounce a lot, around a lot. So get the assassination, get it done. And then uh, loot him for the carbon ingot. And that is the third wealth. Although it is just second there. I've not done the... Uh, <laughs> finish the raid off at this point when they're recording. So just ignore, again, ignore that bottom right uh, counter. That's wrong. Just the one on the bottom left is the one you want to be watching. So once you go, once you've done this, you got to finish this mystery as well. Speak to him again. He'll collapse, pick him up, and then take him back to the starting point to the woman at the beginning near the tent, and uh, drop him off. And that will be uh, that'll be this mystery done, or world event as this one is in particular, a scald's lament. So drop him off, speak to her, and uh, you'll be done. Right, moving on. We're getting to the point where you need to have finished the, the sort of story for this uh, this area. And this is the reason why. You can get three of the ones down here in um, before finishing the story off for this area. But there's somebody hidden in one of the rooms. Uh, which will not get unlocked until you finish this area's off. So go down here into this uh, labyrinth and if you take the same entrance as I did that I just showed you you'll get to this guy first so take him out and then move this out the way and I'm sure you know what's coming next go through it <laughs> and yeah that's it go into here 
and you've got another carbon ingot. Now, for anybody using timestamps, I'm just going to be doing this, going back outside for each, um, each of these other three as well, just so anybody who is using the timestamps will know where we are. So again, at the church here. Well, it looks like a church. It's probably not. It's just got a steeple on. So <laughs> most buildings that have a steeple on are a church. Carry on. That's where the previous was on the left. So just ignore that and go to the right this time. Nice and simple. Another wealth. It's all wealth down here. Go through here and you're going to get this ability. This uh, book of knowledge. Focus of none here. And then back outside again. We're going to get the fired or feared, feared spear. So exactly the same place. And go through the main room now to the other side. So all the way through. And then to the right. So there is another entrance behind me. Um, but yeah, just, I'm not going to go on about don't want to confuse things really but yeah, use the main entrance that I've used to uh, just so you know where you're going uh, and blow this up, there'll be a guy next to it but you need to blow the, uh, the the pot up there to actually destroy the wall going down here, it is a bit dark but we're in water I'll try and use this uh, pulse so you can see where we are you'll see a little hole in the floor go through there and there's going to be a chest on the floor and that's where the spear is and for the final time, we're going back outside again. I'm going to zoom in. <laughs> Slow zoom. And this is the reason that you need to finish the uh, the story for this area, for this county. is because this door, this final one, is behind a door. And it will be locked until you finish this off. So go through this area again. All the way to the back. And to the right and then ignore the guy on the left, he won't be there now obviously, but that's where he was. Uh, through to this room, so you will come down here during the story, you probably picked this one up during the story anyway. Um, there's a guy here on the floor, I'm just going to ping him, there he is. He will have the key, he's still dead, I didn't kill him, he's still dead from the story. He doesn't actually have the key, but he's the guy that has the key. Uh, and then you need to open this door, and there's somebody, I'm sure you know, is hiding in here. And you'll speak to him in here so you do have to come in this room so you've probably got this one already but if you're wondering why you can't get in here it's because you've not got far enough in the story for the area of letter tester right moving on the last leaf of fall this is quite a sad one really but it's a really quick mystery or world event go to this house see the little girl here uh, speak to her She's going to talk about the, the leaf on the tree and about her dad not coming home until the leaf... She doesn't want the leaf to fall. So I just chose the you need to move on option. Um, I believe it doesn't make a difference. It's all going to be the same scenario anyway. So choose either. And then once the girl's finished talking, um, shoot the leaf down to get her to move on. There we go. Obviously that leaf took a lot of processing power because there was <laughs> a bit of a frame rate drop there for some reason. And that's it. We're done with that one. Uh, so yeah, I do apologise if you get see the frame rate dipping again. It is, I'm playing this on an old PS4. Um, so yeah, it's, it's having some problems in some areas. So I do apologise. Right, if you follow my first video, you won't have seen one of these yet. This is a cursed symbol. Um, these areas are poisonous until you destroy the cursed uh, source basically the area is completely dangerous you can't see my health there you can just see it there uh, go down this wall well and uh, ping you can see it in the corner there's a little white you can only just make it out it's like a beehive almost there so you want to break that and that's it we're done uh, the poison will 
dissipate and you won't be dying anymore. Right, moving on. We're leaving that island now and we're heading up here. And this is where all the ruins are. So this is an artifact we're going for, but you'll need to use these stairs. So look for that stair symbol and go uh, near the river, near the bridge. Uh, look for this entrance way and that's the way in. So look for that statue as well. Um, go down here and then to the right it is quite dark. All the way down and to the right. You can just make out some crates there. There we go. Smash them and there's a little gap underneath the wall. Go through and uh, pick up the treasure hoard map. I'm not going to show you where the map leads to. That's going to be a separate video once I have all the maps. I'm going to do a separate video for all those. But you just need to pick it up to tick it off as an artifact. Right. Let's do some more. There's quite a lot in this area. So we're in the same area here. Venonis, I think it is. Venonis. Look for these ruins in particular. You can just see it marked there. So again, we're taking a uh, some stairs down. Or ladder this time. Nice and dark. You can see the uh, frame rate drop there a bit. Bit of a puzzle to this one. So we are just going for a chest, but you can't get through there because um, you need to get to the other side to move that. So smash through these boards, drop down, and then climb back up again the other side. And uh, when you climb up, just stop because there is a, an explosive pot you need to hit and you don't want to hurt yourself. And obviously watch out for the fire because it will set you on fire. So maybe wait a second. Go round, and yeah, so we've got the uh, another book of knowledge, another ability here, harpoon impl impalement. Um, not particularly great. It's kind of like scorpions get over here, but not. <laughs> uh, I think you can swing them round, which is more of an effect. I just prefer the axe throw, to be honest. Right, so leave there. And uh, go to this area on the map. So we're still in the same place, essentially. And uh, look for these ruins this time. And you're going to see the. You can actually see the chest through this uh, uh, metal gate here, but you can't get through. So look for these bricks being held up. And uh, red means shoot. So shoot it, and it'll drop through and uh, create a, a hole in the floor that you'll be able to go through and get the uh, the chest. So drop down and move this out of the way. They do like putting the rocks in the way, don't they? <laughs> there, easy. So the final one in this area, Venonis. For um, wealth, there is just one artifact after this as well. It's going to be this big place. So... This is not <laughs> the easiest place to figure out how to get into. But it's very simple once you actually know. So stood at the front doors, you'll be wondering how to get through. Uh, the answer is you need to shoot the lock through a crack in the wall. And that's what we're doing. Uh, to get to the point where you're able to shoot, climb up, and um, use the ropes to get to the tree house. <laughs> look like tree houses. I know they're not. The lookouts or whatever calling it a tree house and uh, zip line down here you can see the hole in the wall pick up some arrows if you need them and you'll see the red lock on the door you should be able to shoot that from here now and open the door pretty cool what I was talking about before with uh, them having sort of a puzzle element to them uh, it does make it more interesting to go for these things when they have uh, we have to figure it out yeah, I'm trying to <laughs> avoid that guy down there as well. He's level 90 and he's looking for me. And uh, yeah, I'm not. I think I'm about 20 at this point, so I'm not taking him on. Uh, two enemies in here. I didn't think they'd seen me, but they had just at the minute there. So we'll get the uh, the jump kill on that. That's always fun. Or almost. Push that one off and climb up kind of <laughs> and look for the chest in the corner which is you have to smash through these uh, these boards here 
and open it up for a, a Rafnagard, which is a shield. Let's just call it a shield and not try and pronounce words, shall we? Right, so the final one in this area is a Roman artifact, and it is also where you can get the trophy, Flying Eivor. I got it completely by accident, but it's actually a really good place to uh, to get this. I'll be doing a video for this eventually. But, so climb up, look for these these this sort of entrance way, this entrance pillars, and climb up. They must be careful now. And then ping for red, so you can see the lock on the ladder above. Shoot that down. We're, all we're doing is going finding an artifact. It's basically just pick a, a mask up. Uh, but there's two enemies up here. One of them is, I forget the exact name, but basically it's a brute, a uh, big strong guy. Um, he can throw you. Uh, and the idea for the trophy flying Eivor is to get thrown 30 meters, I think it is. Um, if he grabs you up here and throws you, you you will automatically go flying off the side and it'll be more than 30 meters and you'll get the trophy. So if you want to stick around and try and get that, then uh, make a save beforehand and try and do it. But once you've killed them all, or both of them, pick up the mask and you're done. Yeah, watch out for the big guys. They're uh, <laughs> not too easy to kill. Bow and arrow to the head is a preferable method. Stay away from them. Nice easy one here. Go to this camp. Uh, clear it out if you want to. Probably don't have to. You could probably just sneak into here and uh, just open this chest. Nice and easy. Yeah, or you could stand on it while you open it. Apparently that's how you do it. Um, nice and easy one. Why can't they all be that simple? Next is the Twit Saga. Myst this is a mystery or a world event. A little side mission here. Nice simple one. We don't have to travel anywhere really. So you interact and they don't distract you. They, they need, they're looking for fire basically. So uh, equip a torch with your wheel. Your weapon wheel, ability wheel. At the top there. And then throw it on the roof of this house. And that's how you start the mission off. And they'll want to speak to you now. To go and do so. Speak to them. And then follow them to the house. And they want to try and get into the house, but they can't because they're not the quickest and they've left the key in the house before setting it on fire. And of course, it's down to you to go and get the key now. So they're going to take talk a while there, say that they can't get in and uh, you'll want to get in. So go around the back of the house and look for, of course, a bookshelf filled with stones again. And, uh, move it out of the way. It's going to let you get in. Watch out for fire as well. There are two chests you want to grab it while you're in here as well. Not needed for 100%. They just got, I think, fish in them. To be honest, uh, you're searching three areas. So look for this table. You're going to search the table. They're going to tell you it's not there. I'm just picking this chest up while I'm waiting. I think it's fish. Yeah, it's fish and supplies. <laughs> uh, then go to the corner. Look for these kegs. Search here. No key. And it's going to tell you to go to the final place, which is uh, near some sacks. I think there were sacks uh, through here. Yeah, sacks here, bags. And then you're going to find the key. Allowing you to open the door. Another chest here, so just quickly uh, grab that as well. Might as well. And then unlock the door. Go and speak to the uh, the guy here, and you you're done. So you've got the axe. And once he gets up, the mission's done. Obviously, this is part one. We'll be seeing those two again. Right, our first tattoo or flying paper, whatever you want to call it. They are tattoos that you're picking up. Yeah, I do, these are the ones I probably like the, the least of all the collectibles. So we're up at the top here. Top of the village. We're going to be jumping down to it. So go to the edge. And you'll look over the edge and you'll see the, uh, the paper in the distance. With a conveniently placed stack of hay below you. So you can just see the paper there. So jump down. 
get ready to run. So you might want to just go to the left a little bit before jumping on that branch, otherwise you'll miss. It's a bit of a weird one. Uh, and as you're running, don't hold X when you get to one of those uh, trees, otherwise you'll try and jump up the tree. Uh, but you'll have to hold X to jump across to the tree, so it's kind of manage your X pressing. <laughs> so there, you wouldn't be holding X, otherwise you'll try and jump up the tree. Quite annoying. And uh, yeah, you, if you do click in the L3, you do run faster as well. So I can actually press triangle here and get it, but I wasn't sure. Um, so I quickly looped around, got it while it was on the roof. And that's it. Again, if you miss those, you can just go back to the start point and uh, try again. Right, another cursed symbol here. You know what to do with these. It's uh, kill the beehive that's making the poison. Something awful went off <laughs> at this place. This is, uh, yeah, quite obvious why this place is cursed. So it's in the house, jump down, or through the hole in the top of the roof, and you can just see it there, just through the rafters, through the uh, the wall, and then smash it with your bow. Done! So everything will clear up and you'll be fine, just climb the same way back out of there. Another tattoo, another piece of flying paper here, so we're going across to uh, Leicester itself, or Leicestershire. At this, no, Leicester, Leicester. So it's yeah, that word. <laughs> anyway, inside the city, and yeah, that was. I don't know why she climbed up. That was a weird uh, maneuver. I'm going to start off from up here. So it's on this roof. I'm going to start here to give us sort of a. So we're behind it. Position ourselves well. And then run after it. Lots of ropes on this one. Uh, I think it's right at the end when I get this one. This one was quite a... I don't say difficult, but it's a, it's one that gets away. Uh, yeah, it's just little things like that. I was obviously holding forward and X, yet uh, the character jumped onto the roof for some reason instead of the rope. And here, it jumps onto the... Uh, the wall instead of the rope. All these little things slow you down, but don't worry. Uh, you can get there and get to the the perch here, and you should just make it in time to pick the tattoo up. Oh, if not, go back to the start. Try again. Right, the stink brew. This is a weird mystery. Yeah, you want to go into the river and the outside of the wall here to start this one off. So you want to be stood in the river and uh, look for the hole in the wall. And uh, this is where you're going. You may have noticed there are lots of vipers around it. I think this is uh, an area where there's, the frame rate just gives up. Yes, it is. I don't know why, so I do apologise. It will correct itself in a minute. Uh, kill any of the snakes you find here and pick them up. We're going to need these viper eggs for this side mission. Uh, I'll show you where the vipers are. Go and speak to this uh, lady here. That should have corrected itself now. Go speak to her. She'll tell you that you want eggs. You need... Two, then you need three, and then you need four. So you need nine in total. So kill that snake on the way in. Kill these two here. Just go and check them. You should have, if you you should already have viper eggs as well. I'm sure you've seen them along the water line. That's where you find them mostly. There's one here. And then we're going to go outside again. To the left here, there's a couple. And then on the other side, there are quite a lot. Go around the boat, otherwise you'll, uh, you'll walk on them. You don't want them getting you. So if, yeah, if you keep pinging as well, highlight them, otherwise they're quite difficult to see. Frame rate's giving up again. It will correct. I do apologise. So if you haven't got enough here, you can carry on to the left now. Uh, there's a couple more snakes by a tree, and uh, just around water is where you'll find them. Um, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Always, whenever I walk past those hay, uh, or leaves, I suppose they are, Oh, he tries to jump in them. So once you've got nine eggs, go back. 
Doesn't have to be nine at once though. So you're gonna be giving two. Yes. Oh, more. More buy for eggs. And then three. And then finally finishing with four. And yeah, this is a thing that just happens. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is a really weird one. Anyway, speak to her again once she's let go. And um, you'll finish the mystery. If you want to see the results of what you've just done, go up to the top in the city and uh, have a look. <laughs> Not part of the mystery, but it's funny, I suppose. <laughs> right, carrying on. Got a bit more wealth to grab here. So look for this main big building. We're going to be going inside of here to get Skadi's Wrath, which is a bow. So you're going to have to climb up. That door's going to be locked. But luckily, we've got some breakable wood. And then go and find the chest. Open that up for the bow. Next, another Roman artifact, and look for the uh, the the hole in the floor, the um, the stairs symbol. Uh, there will be some wood here. I've already broken it, so just shoot it with your bow, and it'll break. Uh, we'll look for that statue near the, the symbol, the stair symbol, and uh, drop down to go and get this mask or Roman artifact. I'll jump down here and look for the statue, very obviously lit up statue here. Uh, you can't get out the same way you've come in, so go off to the right once you're done here. So, Or you just climb up the statue a bit and grab the, the, uh, the mask and that's it. But yeah, leave via the right hand side. Hidden One's Gloves. So this is a, a wealth, obviously. Um, yeah, this is a, a hideout for the Hidden Ones. There is also a leaflet or piece of paper in here you want to grab. I'll show you where it is. So look for this monument. It's it's below there. Obviously, you can't get down. So look for this uh, this netting holding the, the, the rocks here. Shoot it down to create your pathway. Yeah, this is a, an old abandoned hidden ones hideout. So I'll go through the wall. I'm just going to ping here so you can see where we are. You want to go to the opposite corner of the room and climb through the wall again. And then you're in the hidden ones area. All you need here for the 100% is these hidden ones gloves, which is in uh, this chest on the opposite side of this wall. So if you just go around to these scrolls, I think they are scrolls. Um, there's a piece of paper there you'll want to pick up as well. It's not needed for 100% but we will be using them later on. I'll do a separate video for all of those as well. Right, moving on. Uh, another mystery here, Sisters of the Axe. This is a, it's quite a funny one, actually. Look for this building. Um, you won't be able to get in because the door is locked. So you'll go around the back and look for the key. Uh, I don't know how they're in there. They must have a, a, a separate key. Open the door. And there's going to be a group of nuns in here. Some ass-kicking nuns. And this is just a very simple, short escort mission. I'm not going to show the whole thing, of course. It'll take forever. Uh, you'll have to kind of hang around and just wait a second for the uh, to be able to speak to her. So once you do, speak to her. Once you're able to, uh, speak to the woman. And then you're going to go on a, an escort mission. Lead the way. So follow them and protect them, not that they actually need uh, protecting, apparently. So you go down the hill and uh, you'll get to this place and you need to steal something back. So I'd actually come to this camp before going doing this mission, this mystery uh, world event. Uh, I'd already cleared this camp out, so there may be more enemies. Probably, well, there will be more enemies here. So there's just the one, which is the mission-based enemy for me. Uh, but if there are others, that is why I've already cleared this place out, uh, grabbing the chests that were here. Chests that aren't needed for 100%, just uh, supplies and things. 
so no kill on him. And then you'll see the... Uh, where are they? There they are. They're coming in. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> and she gets the finishing blow. Excellent. So you're going to loot it. I'm going to grab the crozier for the nun. And then continue on down the hill. You're leading them into another county. So you get to the bottom of the hill to the water. There'll be a group of wolves. So uh, yeah, kill them how you will. Flatten the nun. <laughs> They're up again. Probably could have just used my ability. That would have been quicker. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> right. I do like the kill animations on the animals in this. They've actually thought about it with regards to uh, finishing the animals off. And once they're done, run across the water, uh, speak to the nun again. And that's it. You're done. So you just led them to safety, help them out. Not that they actually needed it. That is far enough. So we're in Lincolnshire now. So when you get when you're able to speak to her Farewell. and that will finish off the world event Sisters of the Axe. Next is another Roman artifact. So head to this area up here just north. So we are doing a loop around Leicestershire. I'm sure you figured that out by now. Going all the way around. It's underneath this, which is a breakable, I don't know what you'd call that, it's not really a barrier, pile of rocks. And conveniently placed up here is a red jar, which obviously explodes. So just throw it over the edge and you're done. Try and get close to the edge though so you don't blow yourself up as well, that's always nice. Sometimes you can get stuck trying to press circle on the edge there. <laughs> they just don't do anything. Yeah, so break it, jump down, grab the mask. Our first cairn now, which is uh, a little bit of stone stacking. So if you head up to this uh, symbol up here, this mystery symbol, uh, we're going to be stacking some stones. So if you played Uncharted 4, you uh, knocked all the cairns over. I think it was Uncharted, or was it Lost Legacy? I forget. I think it was 4. Knocked them all down. This time we're actually going to stack them. Uh, very simple, and it's actually quite good the way they've done the physics in this. So place the rock down, and then you want to be sort of twisting the other rocks around using the left stick. Um, I think it's hold square. I've actually obscured it there with the, uh, the little uh, note. So you can't see it but yeah you want to make flat surface to flat surface and if it's got an angle twist the stones round so they fit you don't have to do them in this order just any order will do just as long as they all stand up this one just falls off but it's not a problem because you can just keep going and just yeah get a feel for where the stones actually balance find the center of gravity and uh yeah Twist it round, get the nice flat edge, well, even though that was a flat enough edge. Nice and slow. And then you have to hold to validate, and once you've done that, the uh, it will finish, and you're done. So that's that mystery done. Now we're going to do uh, another raid. So I've not done this with a ship, I've just gone to the area... Uh, any of these barrels mean that you need to have started a raid, so I'm going to do the same as I did at the start. I'm going to walk up and uh, start the raid off without a boat. So lots of areas, uh, lots of enemies in this area. But you will need two people to open this up, so you will need to start the raid. So once you start, everything will go to hell. So deal with who you need to deal with and then come back and open this. And then we'll be getting two more while the raid is ongoing. So exactly the same area. 
up at the top near the uh, the cross here in the middle. It's got a bit dark since I started, so I do apologise. Try not to do the capture in the dark because it, obviously it's not as easy to see. But go in this main building, and there's already somebody waiting here. And just force it open. And then back outside. So literally outside of this building is going to be the last one. Some more raw materials. So I'm back outside of that main building. There it is, the one I was just in. And then you're going to see this place is all blocked up. And there's a, a convenient place, conveniently placed pot again. So blow it up. And watch the fire, obviously. I wonder if it went out quickly then because of the rain. That would be interesting. Usually it stays around longer. And there we go. So same again. Just force it open. Someone will come, come and help you. And that's the end of this raid. So that's all the raw materials for this one. Heading north. We're going to do the letter tester sauce this is similar to Worcestershire sauce I think that's the kind of thing they're going for here with this he basically wants you to he's making a sauce so go speak to this guy at his house and um, he's gonna tell you he wants an eel um, which is gonna really finish this sauce off and if you don't know Worcestershire sauce is made with anchovies so I think that's what they're kind of going with here it's an unexpected uh, ingredient for a sauce and uh, yeah, go to the water's edge and just scan, just ping, and you'll see them everywhere. Uh, it might take a minute, but just keep pinging, just keep tracking them. The ones that are going away from you are actually probably the easiest to try and hit, or if they're coming directly towards you as well. Uh, try and shoot one. Once you do, go and uh, loot it, and then take it back to him. Grab this chest here, not needed 100%. I don't know why it didn't register then, but it didn't. I'll get it later on. I have your eel. Oh, good. Please. So yeah, he's going to ask you to add the ingredient, the eel, to the pot. And once you've done that, just go through the, the dialogue and speak to him. And that will be the end. Unfortunately, unlike Worcestershire sauce, this doesn't go well. Uh, well, I think your opinion might change. Depends if you like it or not. Uh, yeah, anyway, done. So heading inland a bit here now. I'm getting another carbon ingot. This is another fight. So I've started this off it already. It's a, it's a camp, a very basic camp. Uh, there's going to be another enemy with uh, the golden orb across the top of the head. So look for him, kill him, loot his body, uh, you get the carbon ingot. There's two of these guys here, so be careful. The finish animation on that one is particularly good, the way she screams at him <laughs> as he's dead. So uh, yeah, the frustration of trying to kill these guys, I suppose. There you go. Just checking it's registering on the right-hand side. There we go, carbon ingot. So moving up towards the top of the map now and Tem Templeborough Fortress um, I'm on the so if you stood in front of the fortress head on I'm at the left hand side so I showed you on the map where I was look for another enemy with the, uh, the golden orb on the top of the head he's going to be your target Nice. I like these animations. But unfortunately, because of these animations, they don't die straight away, so you can't loot. Just wait for him to uh, go floppy, so to speak. <laughs> there we go. And, uh, yeah, there you go. Pick the loot up. Just going to make sure it registers. And there we go. Carbon ingot. So, same place. So, I'm on the left-hand side. Or, yeah, as you look at it, if you stood in front of it from the water, I'm on the left-hand side. So the same place, that's the same enemy I just killed. We're going to be doing exactly the same again. With 
with uh, another enemy to get a carbon ingot again. You do need to come here as part of the story, so you potentially may have got these, and I'll actually show you on the next one I'm doing that one during the story mission. So just assassinate this one nice and easy. So you can see the front entrance there, so a bit more clearer where I am now. And then on the opposite side, so I'm doing this during the walls of Tempera, Temple Borough. Uh, I'm on the literally the opposite side of where I just killed that last one. Uh, there's going to be an exactly the same enemy uh, with exactly the same orb above his head. I'd already killed him because uh, there's a big rush during this mission, so you may accidentally get kill him as well. Just keep an eye out. If not, you can just come back and do it again. Still in Temple Borough. So I'm going to be stood above the main entrance here now, or the back. There we go, across the water. And we're going to the top, and there's a ladder on this side, even though you can just climb walls in this game, which is a really nice touch as well, that you're actually able to climb literally everything. We have a couple of guys up here, take care of them, and get the chest. And then for the next one, I'm going to start in exactly the same place again on top of those roof, on top of that roof, uh, looking over the water. And this is going to be piercing shot, another ability. You literally walk past this during the story, so you've probably got this one already. So during the uh, the story mission, you're going to go into here to look for a woman. I won't say who. And you need to come down here and you will literally walk past this thing to go left now. Uh, so yeah, you can't miss that one. Piercing shot. Unfortunately, I was hoping this would... Uh, the idea is it goes through uh, walls and doors to kill enemies, mainly doors. Uh, it doesn't unlock doors though, which is a shame. So go across the water. So we're still in Templeborough Fort. Technically go across the water. So there's the fort over there. and look for this tower at the end. And this is where we're going to get the Huntsman's Cloak. Left an enemy. Didn't see him. He saw me though just at the last second. And you can see these uh, clumps of uh, wood and stone. Red means shoot, so shoot them. And this is going to give you the access to the lower floor. The door down there is locked, which you can see there. So I drop down, open the chest up. Right, we'll do, we're done with Templeboro now. So we're going to move back towards the west and try and finish this circle off. So we've gone across the water onto a new island now. And this is just another very simple kill the enemy, loot their body type situation. Uh, lots of uh, marauders, another marauder camp. So yeah, just quickly kill this one. They're nice and easy, these enemies. And then, uh, oh, that's a particularly brutal one. <laughs> Give him the Joker smile. Um, yeah, and then collect the wealth. And then uh, obviously I'm just going to check here, make sure we get it. And there we go. Offering altar. Something a little different yet again. So this is the first offering altar we've got. You need to offer it three rabbit's foots. Foots? <laughs> rabbit's feet? Uh, not off one rabbit. So yeah. <laughs> anyway. Doesn't need to be from one obviously. You're not going to find them. Although you should be able to. Um, go to the altar and it'll say make the offering three hair or hair's feet then. Uh, just run around this area, you can see the altar there, just run around uh, looking for hares and take them out. You may need to kill, I probably needed to kill about seven or eight, uh, not all of them do give you feet, so there's one. I think this is my fourth one, I'm just getting this one on the way back up. Uh, yeah, just run around this area and keep an eye out. Uh, unfortunately, Scan doesn't pick up animals, um, there may be an ability for that later on, I don't know yet, but as of now it doesn't. So make the offering and that's it, you're done. So yeah, it might take you a while to find the pairs, but they are around this area. Next is of 
fist dances and sweaty oaths. This is quite a long uh, mystery or world event. Uh, two ways to gain entry to this fight club. That's essentially what it is. It's just a fight club. Go up, speak to this guy. And if you already have uh, charisma at level 3, you can just blag your way through this and say stand aside. I don't have it yet. Uh, so just speak to him and say, oh, what, what is this place? Uh, and he'll tell you there's a clue for the password. Uh, so we'll go and get it. Look for this tree at the back. And then climb up, or just climb up the building, whichever way. Just get on top of the building. And across onto this tree house. It's definitely a tree house, that. And uh, read this note, and you can see there. Naked fists and wall-eyed lisps. That's the uh, the secret code. I'll go back and speak to him. Now it's not just getting into this place, it's actually uh, participating as well that you need to do. So he's going to ask you for the password again. This time you'll have it, so you'll be able to do it. And then inside, once inside... Uh, just say that you're ready, that you want to fight, and it is uh, bare knuckle, so it's just fist fighting. Although the second one has <laughs> a weird weapon, we'll get to that. I don't think he actually does it during my recording, though, unfortunately. Um, yeah, they, they come straight for you every single time, so be aware, as soon as you start the fight, they're going to come straight at you. Best thing to do is try and parry them, because the stuns will sort of one-shot them, and uh, you'll be done. So, finish the fight. And then once you've done that, go speak to him again to start up the next one. It's three fights you have to do. So again, say that you're ready. And uh, yeah, this next opponent has, uh, let's just say, uh, <laughs> a poison attack. Uh, yeah, use your imagination. I'm sure you can guess where it comes from. Don't think he does it during the recording. Again, he's going to come straight for you. Um, so lock on. <laughs> Bit all over the place, this one. Yeah, he doesn't give too many yellow attacks or just standard attacks, this one. It's a lot of red, so you can't really get the parries on those. So I have to finish him the old-fashioned way. I need to walk into, yeah, <laughs> walk into, the, into that one. There, done. So once you've done that, go speak to him for the final time. Uh, and then you're going to fight the big guy himself. He was obviously a brute. He will try and rush you and pick you up and slam you. But he does have parryable attacks, so look out for those. And that's how you're going to finish him. Uh, yeah, one shot again. So you can get the... His, his, uh, break his stamina down. Yeah, starting again, he's going to rush you straight away. I can't get the lock on <laughs> to work here. There we go. Yeah, and then you want to look out for the parries and just hit in between. But he also does have the red. Very When he gets very close, it's very quick as well. So there is a fine line for waiting for the parries or just getting out of there. Yeah, see how quick that is? <laughs> There, parry, stun, and it's pretty much all of his health is done. Uh, yeah, and that's it. So once you've beaten him, that's all three done. And uh, that's the mystery or world event finished, and we'll get that ticked off. So he's going to wander off. And you're done, and you've got the membership to the BBB. Right, another new type of mystery is a uh, standing stones this is uh, a line the uh, stone stonehenge i suppose look for this on the side here and uh, interact with it it should show you these three coffee stains um and that's what you got to do so as she's talking you can just walk off and go and do it uh, so if you ping it'll light everything up and you'll be able to see it there it is so line the three coffee stains up can be a bit tricky Slowly, slowly. There we go. And uh, yeah, that's it. Done. Very simple. Nice and easy. 
we've done one of these before. This is the fly uh, Argeric Ar 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 walk through the doors. So you go and eat the magic mushrooms and then walk through the doors. So look for the mushrooms. Uh, a bit different this time. There's no statues. Uh, instead, we have seals or sea lions. I always forget the difference. Are they sea lions? I think they are. Seals are smaller. I don't know. It doesn't matter. They're wherever, whatever they are, they are not supposed to be here. No, these are seals, aren't they? The big ones are seals. And just follow him. So wherever he goes or she, wherever the seal goes, you go through that door. And there's five. Just do them in order. Down to the bottom one. And then finish off with the one with the, uh, the stone stairs. And there we go. So once the effect wears off, it will uh, it'll get ticked off and we'll be done. There we go. Right, we're getting there now. Not much to go yet. We're moving on to the final island or piece of land. So look up. Here's another, quite a long one actually. I've caught a bit of, a bit of it out. Um, look for this guy. Wait for this other one to uh, stop talking. Wait for basically Santa. Don't know why he's up here. <laughs> um yeah, go speak to him. He's going to t tell you about an elixir. And uh, he'll want you to make it. So when he gives you the option, say, let me try it. And at this point, he'll tell you how to make it. It involves getting some testicles and uh, some lichen, I think it was. So yeah, he'll tell you where the bears are. They're off to the uh, west. And the lichen is down the well. So the well is directly behind where we are. So when you regain control, just go smash the top, drop in, get the lichen. <laughs> yeah, the the wells are weird in this game. Uh, trying to get out them is more of a pain, to be honest. So just drop down. You can get all the other stuff as well, and uh, climb back out. Now getting out of this well is not an easy feat. I've actually had to cut. There was a little cut there. It took me like thirty seconds of jumping back and forth and pressing up and X, and it would not. Anyway, get out the well. Apparently that's the hardest part of this game. Um, and then run off to the west and look for this cave. Uh, we're going to be taking a bear on. Uh, luckily you can just one-shot this thing. And uh, not have to worry about it. So it's not like a Tomb Raider bear or anything. See it there, black bear. And it's going to do a really weird death animation. So shoot it. And it's just going to flop. <laughs> And uh, go and steal its testicles. Might as well grab those as well. And then run back. And the guy's going to make an elixir for you. Uh, and you're going to fall asleep. And end up in uh, actually a new county. And I'm going to show you uh, where we are and how to get back. Obviously you can just teleport back. So Santa's coming back as well. For some reason he's obviously not a very happy customer. So I'm going to speak to him again. And you're going to take the elixir, you're going to faint, and you're going to end up in this cave. So if you read this note and then uh, interact with the skeleton, you're going to get a, a ring off them. So if you loot it, there we go, valuable ring. Uh, and then there's a, a chest here. So grab that if you want while you're here, but it is not part of the 100% for leather chester, so I'm leaving it for now. That's the way out through the water, so if you dive through the water, or... For ease sake, um, now you can see where we're within the next area for the next video. So we'll be getting that chest shortly. Obviously, you grab it now. Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to... That's where we were. I'm just going to teleport back out. That's the easiest way to do it. And then run back to this guy and speak to him again. Santa's still here. <laughs> you, alchemist. What understand its effects. Good thinking. And that's it. Done. So moving up towards this other 
village. I'm just going to grab a few more along the way. This is yet another uh, enemy um, carbon ingot. It is another brute, or Goliath they are, aren't they? I'm just used to calling them brutes. In every game they're called brutes. So just take him down. Scream at his body as you kill him. Or oh, that was a weird headlock. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, loot it for the ingot. There we go. Another mask, another uh, Roman artifact or mask. Very simple one. Just climb up and hit a pot. Oh no, not this one. This one isn't the pot, is it? This is a uh, drag the uh, bookcase of stones out the way. So just jump up, drag this out the way. And there you can see it there, leaning against the wall, and that's it. It's, it's an easy one. So we're going up to the village now. I'm going to get a saga page, which is an artifact, a new type of artifact. So look for the stairs there, the stair symbol. That's where we're going. It's inside this large building. You can't miss this place. Um, also, part of the story takes place in here. I'll explain why they're all there. And just go down and uh, grab the page. It's as simple as that, really. And there it is. So I'm just going to scroll down. Let it register. There we go. Saga page. Many more of those to come, I'm sure. So, same village. We've got another tattoo. So, it's chasing a piece of paper in the wind again. Look for the big tower. You can see it on the edge there, on the edge of that perch. So go inside the tower and climb the ladder to give yourself the best starting angle. And go. It was already off. It wasn't, I wasn't ready. <laughs> yeah, try and go to the edges here so it gives you the best... Um, so you don't swing on that piece of wood. You uh, go on top. Again, why... Why didn't it connect with the tree? I don't know. It's a bit weird, the uh, movement. And then quickly, right at the top there, grab the, uh, the tattoo page. Next, we're on to a bit more flitting. So look for the mask. So this is to increase your charisma. It does actually count as a mystery as well. So yeah, he stood at the, uh, the end of the dock. Exactly the same as last time. Obviously, the options aren't the same. Show you each option. Go speak to him. Do you wager? Uh, because you're using this video, bet, big bet, 200, why not? You're going to know the answers in a moment. Let us begin. Yeah, same as before. I have sparred against uh, just get the cadence and the rhyming right, and you shouldn't have a problem. So on this one, it's the bottom one, I, if I remember rightly. Yeah, actually, yeah, and this recording run, I actually did this uh, first time, time, so I was actually figuring out. <laughs> but yeah, bottom one, and then for the next one, misfit, half wit. You want the top one? You don't want to be rhyming half wit with half wit. I'm the greatest of flighters. On that one, middle one, and then you're done. And he's going to give you the 400, and that's going to be this mystery or uh, world event, whatever you want to call it. That's done. We're nearly there. And then, you, of course, your charisma is going to go up, not to level three though, so it's not enough to do that other mission. No more flitting in this area, in this uh, county. And we just got this one. It looks like it's in the opposite in uh, Snottinghamshire, but it's not. It's it's still in this one. 
in a leaded chester. So go across the water, find this island, you're going to find this old Viking here. Although he doesn't even look that old. Uh, sit down on the bench to speak to him. And he's got a lot to say about retiring. And uh, let you take all of his stuff. So you may have noticed in the village there is a, a house with a locked door. He gives you the key. He's going to allow you to go and get stuff, all of his stuff. So go across the water. And he tells you it's by the tree. So look for the big tree. Repton. Frame rate's falling apart again. <laughs> Can't wait to get this on PS5. <laughs> Be much better. So look for the big tree. And then this is his house here. Use the key to open the door and then empty it out. Take all three of the items here. So you've got this instrument on the wall, a lyre. Got the poem. Uh, the chest doesn't count, but obviously it opens up the chest as well. And then... Uh, I think there's a bracelet over here as well, so grab this. Yeah, bracelet here. And then to finish off, so you're not done, uh, you need to take this box back to him. Uh, so you're going to need a boat, because you don't want to get them wet. It's poems or songs. So carry him back down to the dock. Uh, there should always be a boat here as well. So walk down here. You'll see the boat there, just there. Or whichever, it doesn't really matter. Just as long as you can get to it without going into the water. There we go. So we just hold triangle or whatever the equivalent button is that you have to uh, pick things up. And place it in the middle. Expertly driven there. And then, uh, yeah, pick it up. Just walk towards him and drop it on the floor in front of him without your frame rate going like that yeah accidentally picked the note or tried to read the note there so drop it down interact with the bench to uh, get him to speak again listen to what he's got to say uh, and that's this mystery done this world event done and now we're going to start heading south so on the same piece of land so just walk to the, the tower there if you've already got it and we're going to do another cursed symbol very very quick one this one if you stood where I am on the map, you'll be above it. And you can get it before you can get poisoned. So look out for a tree. So I'm going to ping. There we are. See it just off in the distance, glowing red. And then just hit it with your bow, and you're done. Or hit it with an arrow, should I say. Uh, next is a... Two wealths in one. We're going to get these together. These are literally next to each other, but you've got to go through the same steps to get to them. So in this village, um, during the story, you'll become friendly with this area. But the place that I just pointed at there where the door is, is not friendly even when you're friendly with this village. So run up here. We're going to go and get a key for that door first. So they are technically enemies still, uh, but they won't attack on sight because uh, if you you should have finished the story for Leda Chester. So uh, unfortunately, she's in my way, so she got to die. Get the key. Uh, get stuck on a chair, and then a crate, and then leave the building. And you're going to want to take care of anybody who might see you do what you're about to do, just so the whole village doesn't come alert, uh, be alerted to what you're about to do. So unfortunately, this person's got to die as well. I think there is another one following me. That came off to the left-hand side.
Yeah, they're becoming alerted, so quickly take care of these. And then there's the one just up here. At this point, you could just run through the door and go for it. Yeah, I thought it was coming in, but decided not to. <laughs> it's like a chance meeting. Right, finally, get done, right. Open the door up. And the key was just stolen. And uh, jump down to the bottom, so there's a nice slide to here as well. Wee. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you can see it directly ahead of you on the map there as well. It's going to be the Huntsman's Helm in this first chest. And then straight after getting that, if you look to the right hand side, you're going to see a crack in the wall. And uh, going through here is going to get you the Raven Distraction, which is a, another ability. Book of Knowledge. Get the Raven Distraction. Just one more wealth to do. I think there's just one more of each to do now. Wealth, Mystery and Artifact, if I remember correctly. So this is the final artifact. It is a, a mask and it's a very simple mask. So there is a border there. That blue dot off to the left hand side is for the next county. So I'm going to leave that. Yeah, it's a very simple one. You can see it off at the top there. Just climb up to it. Hit a pot. So when I said hit a pot before, it was this one I was referring to. Yeah, you can't just, just see it on the floor. There we go. So that's all of the artifacts done. They're all ticked off. Next, we're going to finish the wealth. Uh, another carbon ingot, of course. And it's another enemy. So look for the big water wheel and uh, the, the gold dot above the head. The golden orb. Try and do this stealthily, but it was just not going to happen. I don't know what I hit here. You're going to see it in a moment. <laughs> I think I hit this yeah, this powder here. <laughs> I didn't even realise this was something you could do. But yeah, I kill him. You can just see him. There we go. Get the animation. And yeah. There we go. Ping it. Just see it. It's not registered. There we go. He's just died. So once he's done that, grab the uh, carbon ingot. And that is the final bit of wealth for this area just the final mystery to do the white uh, the white lady of Tamworth uh, Rapunzel is that the right one with the hair I think that's Rapunzel isn't it in the tower so it's just lots of talking and not much else for this one really so you'll see us talking uh, you basically want to take this guy's place so just stab him doesn't actually kill him um, but there's a reason for that you find out that they're actually uh, lovers <laughs> and this is a weird game that they play um, so yeah go speak to the door and then she'll want you to take his place because he's run away so go turn around and you'll have to actually hold a triangle you'll see like a, an interact there we go uh, interact so you'll have to hold it to uh, stand in place uh, and then you just need to wait for an enemy to turn up, who's going to turn up in a minute. Trouble coming. Any moment now. Real there he is. It's going to be lots more talking, talking, talking. And then uh, you'll get the warning sign, like the kind of, you've been sighted. Uh, at that point you can go and kill him. So this, I've had uh, heard that this one was glitched for somebody, so... Just wait this one out and definitely make a save before doing this one. You should be doing it for all of them anyway. And if a, if any of them do glitch, come back to the area again and try again. Uh, it may just register late. 
But yeah, once you've uh, killed him, go and let her do her speak her piece, and then it will be finished. And that is every single mystery. That's all the wealth, all the mysteries, all the artifacts done. That's a hundred percent of Leather Chester done. So I'm just going to bring up the map, and you see it all nicely ticked off. Right. Thanks very much for watching. That was a long time. And I'll see you on the next one.